Today, we're unboxing Ever Rain from Grimlord Games. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. Get back here this instant! Oh. Thank you. Okay, it's been a while. I haven't done an unboxing in a bit. Been busy uh, doing stuff. I've wanted to do unboxings, but you know, life life gets it. Life gets in the way. Uh, I noticed uh, Board Game Co. did one like three weeks ago. Now, in my defense, I only got this like two days ago. So you guys in the states have an advantage over us guys in Canada who got to wait. Apparently, um, it's not always the case though. I have had the odd game where I've gotten before my uh, my American neighbors. Um, anyways, so this is Ever Rain, and I think this is also Ever Rain. I say I think because um, I'm always home, uh, and I was away one day, and I got home, and there's these two packages sitting on my doorstep. Now I don't know if they arrived at the same time or if they were separate. But I'm assuming this goes with this, although I can't see anything on this box that says it's associated with this. We order a lot of things. So it's possible this has to do with this. It's possible it does not. I don't know what's in here. So um, we'll open that as like a little bonus thing at the end of the video to see if it has anything to do with Ever Rain. So for now, we're just gonna put it down. It's a, it's a big box. It's light, it's light. I'm thinking neoprene mat, maybe? I don't know, some extra I paid for? I have no idea. Now here's the thing, Ever Rain, I think was on Kickstarter like 25 years ago. Uh, at least what it feels like. It feels like it was a long time ago. And it's, as far as I remember, it's a cooperative, uh, uh, like a cooperative story-driven game where it's like the world is just like this constant rain, an ever rain, if you will. And it's kind of flooding the planet. And I think it's because some sort of like ancient monster, kind of like a Cthulhu-esque inspired deity. Uh, but I don't think it's Cthulhu. It's, um, and it's causing this rain. And I believe the people it kills, this Missouri, the story might start a little off me because I don't know. I'm trying to remember from a long time ago. Um, I think the, the people it kills turn into monsters? Like, whoever died in the rain? I think? They come back as, like, crazy monsters? Um, I, don't, I don't remember exactly. But we're going to get into it and see what this game's about. Now, I do know that, again, it's cooperative. I know that it kind of reminded me of, like, a darker version of Sleeping Gods. Um, but instead of everybody sharing a boat, everybody's got their own boat and their own crew, as far as I remember correctly. And you can, like, hire your crew and customize your ship, so you customize your crew and your ship. I think, again, I might be spreading lies. But yeah. Now, I might give you a lot of misinformation in this video. Maybe not. I don't know. This is not an educational video. This is just a, a video to see what's in the box. Uh, and I don't bring that up because some people said this guy knows nothing. I'll tell you straight up, I don't know anything. That's what I told you is the extent of what I know. Everything else is discovery. Because um, I don't want to look too far into it. I like being surprised. Let's see. But I do remember watching the video and telling Brittany, Ever Rain looks so cool. It was one of those games where, like, I'm not backing any more this year. And I saw this video, I was like, okay, okay I'm going to back one more. I'm going to just back one more. And this was the one more. Um, and I'm pretty sure I, I, I remember the hype of being, like, excited for this. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, that's pretty. It looks pretty right away. It's got a very, I like the, if it makes sense, the nautical color palette. I enjoy that. Okay. All right, so these look like, we'll get to them later. Let's just pull this stuff out of the box. Okay, these are neoprene mats. What the hell is in the big box? That big box, for all I know, is a gift for Xavier. I have no idea what's in that big box. So. It's going to be a boxing of Ever Rain and a bonus. Hopefully it's not something embarrassing. Like those orders I made from Wish a long time ago. You know, I bought a suit for like a buck fifty. I've never seen it. Hey. What do we got here? Some more neoprene mats. Neoprene mats. And a game by Adam Smith. Okay. All right. Come on. Oh, it's, it's, not the heaviest box, but it's hefty. Oh, there's dice in here. I almost missed those. What else we got here? All right. All right. Let's just move this aside. 
Now, you'll also notice I'm using a different knife. And I'm not using my regular knife because I need to get that sharpened. And I've been saying that for a long time. But this, this is nice and sharp. Now, there was somebody that commented on the video, quite rudely, I might add, and I responded, but I don't think I got a response back. I gotta check. Um, I haven't, oh yeah, if anybody has commented and I haven't responded, uh, to the comments, it's because during our giveaway, Christmas giveaway, I forgot that I turned off my notifications on my comments because there were so many people like, entering the contest, 24 videos, my email was just flooded with entries. So I, I was missing important emails because it was like, you know, YouTube, 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 and then under 100 YouTubes, it was like one important email uh, about, you know, like, job opportunity, and then YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> so I... Uh, the, the, those notifications are great normally because it gets, I can respond to you guys faster. But once you're running a contest and there's like, you know, thousand people, two thousand people just putting in their answers to enter, I don't need to see that in my email box. I can just go to YouTube, check that out. So I turned that off, but I forgot to turn it back on. I realized that just before I turned on this video. Um, okay, here we go. Let's, let's, let's start. It's not chit chat. Ever rain. Well, first of all, oh, don't look, don't look, don't look. Looks cool. Let's do this. You know, I was rambling. I don't even have I got to my point about the knife. Yeah, it was dull, and somebody said that I, something. I don't know if the comment was something about I'm watching some idiot use a dull knife. It might have not been idiot, but something about my dull knife. They definitely knocked my knife, uh, and I agreed um, on on some of them. Not that I'm an idiot, but the knife was dull. So you know what? I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try this one. It's a good knife until I sharpen my other one. All right. This. The bag on this seems looser than what I'm used to. Usually they're like really shrink wrap. There's like air under this. Well, there's a hole. Now it makes me wonder about the process. And uh, if you're wondering, it's actually really early in the morning. I never do unboxings in the morning. I don't know, never. It's not common, as in I can't think of the last time I did one in the morning. Um, but this is one of them. And uh, it's, it's different, it's a different feeling. Oh, and I learned about uh, Zoa, Warrior Energy. I didn't realize, uh, well, I don't, I don't know if this might be misinformation I could be spreading, that the rock, this, the rock is behind these? Like, Dwayne Johnson is that rock? Anyways, I didn't know that, that's how I bought them. They're delicious though. Me and the rock can do uh, co-sponsorships. <laughs> um, I started, and wild orange is tasty, I'm not crazy about white peach, um, but wild orange is really good. It was Costco samples, Costco samples is what, what got me. Tried it, that was great. All right, the whole box thing, beautiful art. I'm getting sucked into this right away. Yeah, okay, there's the monster -y thing. All right, let's get into this. section all right you know you know what the suction was good the slide was a little off a little uneven i don't have to give it a three i don't have to give it a three but it's got that new manufactured smell mm -hmm. all right what do we got in here I'll move my drink off to the side so i'll spill that Alrighty, yeah, everything seems a little looser packed. Actually, that bag is ripped. It's already torn. No, I need it. Not the prettiest packaging I've ever seen, but uh, just because, again, it doesn't matter. It's stuff you're going to throw out, the foam and the loose plastic, but just a comment. Alright. But the game itself so far, the art elements look very pretty and that's what's important okay so okay, we, have, we, have, we jump into minis right away okay well you know what let's check out the board so yeah as far as i remember the board i hope you guys can see all this oops did that rip oh it just tore i barely touched it and the seam broke i thought like, I just was like adjusting because it felt off. I, I moved it with my finger and look at this. It ripped so easily. WTF? 
I barely touched that and it just tore along the seam. I have never had that happen. If you've guys seen my video, <laughs> my video collection of board games, I have, I have a lot. I have never, ever, ever, ever had that happen. What a bummer. And I was just commenting on how the packaging seemed a little cheaper, like a little like lesser quality, but that didn't matter because you're throwing it out. This, I'm not going to throw out. Why? That's, I'm so bummed. Yeah, it didn't come that way. True, like I did it, but I, I barely did like I, I touched it. I just did one of these, like a little tweak to just get it straight on the camera and it tore right along the seam. Like it was ready to burst at the seams. Well, let's, uh, I don't know if that counts for me getting a new board or anything. I'll, I'll contact uh, the guys at Grimlord and see what, what the deal is. I hope I can get a new one. That's a bummer. Anyways, um, this is the board you travel on. There's monsters printed on the boards of the map. Sorry, I'm just so... That's so upsetting. It like ripped along that seam. It's just like a thin layer of paper along that seam that's holding it together. And it just, it just tore. I don't know if you can make that out. It's like right there. That's where it tore. That's not supposed to open there. Well, I can't say much to the quality of that. It feels like, it feels nice. But yeah, the cardboard's nice, but then it's got this little thin, thin layer of paper on top of it. And that's what tore. I'm just, it's so upsetting. It seems like if I wasn't careful, this whole board would just like rip apart if I'm not careful with it. Okay. Alrighty, well, let's see the rest. <laughs> so we got a bunch of tokens. Let's flip through these. There you go. Are these double-sided? Well, just, just in case they're double-sided, I don't know. Oh, no. Ah. Popped a coin out. Okay, they are double-sided. Mind you, some of these might be the same thing on both sides. Oh, that's cool. What's, what's that about? Oh, Surgeon. These are your, uh, I think these are your character cards. And you must put something in there to track something. Something to track something. Definitely something to track something. I'm going to pop one of those out because I want you to see that up close when we bring the camera down. Oh, there's a bunch of them. the back of them the um, I really like the aesthetics of this game okay so those are the land tiles these things they pop out and they, they sit on the map which I'm not gonna toy with anymore in this video so it doesn't tear anymore and I know there's locations like this this one has the blight water so that has probably some significance I know there's uh, docks and things you can visit I don't know, ports is that what it's called a port a dock I don't know, I'm not a sea person. I don't even know how to swim. So there's some tiles for you. I don't think there's anything. No, they're all the same. This is the back, they have different numbers. I'm assuming different acts. What, what that is. They pop out very easy, which I like because <laughs> I don't like tearing. When you're there, tough to push and they just tear out. So I do like that. We're not going to need those. And then, oh, we got a bunch of minis. It's Toss this aside so you guys don't see. Oh, there you go. We got some rule books here. All right. Nicely illustrated rule book. Number of pages, which was a comment saying, I think what video it was, and somebody said you didn't tell me how many pages the rule book was. It's correct. I did not in that video. I don't know why, because I usually do. Any guesses for this one? 38, unless you count this one, 39. So 38, but looks when you, but looks like the actual rules stop at 35, and then you have the world of Everrain. Looks like backstory. So hopefully there's not too much glare on that. There might be. There you go. That's the rule book. And then, oh, it's your ships. <laughs> if you notice my knee, I'm actually sitting up on the table to get this close to the camera for you, so you guys can see. That's how much I care. I'm putting myself in danger. I'm curious, because I couldn't really see from above. 
Assuming there wasn't much glare was there. Well, it seemed okay. Hey, we got some nice little piece of art. Yeah, so these are your ships. This is where you keep your crew, I assume, in those spots, maybe? Don't know what that is on the other side, though. So when you get off ship, you go to land? I don't know. Artwork on it's really nice. I actually really like the graphic design. The text is really clear to read. It's still see. It's still got the right. It doesn't sacrifice the theme for clarity. It's it's clear and it still matches the theme. I really like that. Now these are really like flimsy boards. Um, it'd be nice to have something thick like they had in Mosaic, for example. But Mosaic was extremely large. Oh no, hold on. Those are your boats. So what is? That's your boat. What is this? It's the same size. So this is your individual player boat. Anyways, I was talking about Mosaic, which is another game. They had player boards, and they had like these thin, wispy versions, and they had these upgraded, thick versions. But their thick versions were ginormous, and uh, you couldn't uh, fit them all on one table, which was ridiculous. So nice, but not necessarily. This seems like it would work just fine. And notice they all have different names. The Bitter End. So these are the... Uh, the Pariah, which is this one, the Ivory Sword, I like that, okay, all right, we're jumping to low camera mode, I want to show you this thing, here you go, this is the thing I pulled aside for you, I don't know what those holes are for, but I want to know, and this pops out, so that holds something, that doesn't look like anything. I'm gonna throw that out just in case, but I'm pretty sure it's nothing. That is something, that doesn't pop out. Okay. Surgeon, I think I want a surgeon on my boat. It seems important. Went out at sea. Okay, uh, let's check out some of these minis that I got here. Who knows those cards? Yeah, you gotta save the minis to last. Okay, I got all the bits out. So let's start with the, the cardy bit. What, these are so tiny, look at these. These are adorable. Tiny little cards. So let's see what these are. I'm curious what these little cards are. I'm having a hard time focusing on these through the camera because I am getting old. Um, fun fact. Okay, so I don't know what these do. What do one of these say? Plus one. Whoop, sorry, I got too close. Couldn't read it. Okay, I'm actually my vision is pretty blurry. So. So this can only be issued one order per turn. Okay. And they have little titles to them. Can't even make it out. Man, my vision is really bad. I actually might have a migraine coming. So I actually can't read these cards properly. So the best I can do is hope these are in focus. Sorry, I'm having a really hard time reading that. What does that say? Old hand? Yeah. So for you, anybody that's out there that has uh, migraines, there's a lot of like side effects to migraines. Mine is my vision gets very blurry just before a migraine. And what caused my migraines is um, pressure changes in the environment. And there's we've had some crazy weather here, which is appropriate that we're doing ever rain. Um, and yesterday I watched Geostorm for the first time. Uh, not the greatest, um, Disaster movie. Um, probably one of the weaker ones that actually went to the theater. But uh, it did inspire me to go watch 2012, which I know a lot of people didn't like, but I love disaster movies, and I liked John Cusack driving a limo through the end of the world. So I thought that was entertaining. Now, speaking of the end of the world, let's get to these cards. What do we got here? Okay, so I'm not going to go through all these. These are all a lot of text. So let's just go through, skip through some of them. It looks like a cost. So, what is that? This is a, this is a, oh, okay. So, oh, it's a schematic. And it says, recover one strain. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a strain is. But these, are these one, I don't know what these are. I don't know if these are like upgrades to your ship or. So, interesting. So, there's a bunch of these. Whatever these are. 
It's like my vision comes and goes in bursts of clarity. Okay, I think these, oh, these are all different. These are not all different. I mean, they're different chunks. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some, was it monster cards? And the, the problem with, okay, so let's go through some of these just because there's a unique art on them and I like to showcase unique art. Go through them. Whoa, yeah, I'll go through them quickly though. Just so we can see the different monsters. Are they all the same? Yes. Like when you see one monster type, they're the same. Did I miss one? No, I think I'm good. I did miss one. No, I didn't. I did. Which is... Uh, whatever. You've seen them all. So some different values on these. Gives you the idea. If you hear any crying, it's like Xavier. Poor little guy, sick. Which means I don't sleep. And if I don't sleep, that also doesn't help a person with migraines. Okay, so there's a bunch of, there's a, I don't know what these are at all. I don't know what these cards do. There's a few of those. And again, we'll go, we'll just kind of like, since there's no art on these, just to, oh, 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 those are different. Where those come from? Sneaky. A lot of unique looking cards in this. As in like, you know, there's little tiny cards. There's cards that look like they serve a lot of different functions. It's going to be a bummer doing a, an unboxing for the minis when I can't see the minis. I'll have to wait till I edit it and see them in high def. My big screen. The bad thing is you can't get glasses for it because it only happens when you have a migraine. By the time I book my appointment and go in, I'd be cured. Okay, so these are like are these like story things. These are story things. I don't want to spoil anything. Just look at one, just to give you an idea, or two. There you go. Okay, so it looks like you get a bit of a story and get a choice. Either do this or this, and I'm assuming that affects your outcome. Okay, so we won't look at too many of those, and those will look like more of that. Yeah, so I don't want to ruin the story stuff, so I'm going to leave the story cards sealed up. And this, what is this? I'm going to open this one because I'm curious what this is about. That knife is way sharper than the other knife. Okay, so the back of these, oh. what was that there for? Was that meant to hide this? I don't even know. I don't, I'm not sure what this was for. Is it like a tracking card of some sort? Because there's the art on the back. Uh, I think that's the same art that was on that big card that I showed you earlier. Hmm. I'm going to flip through some of these. Three card Monty. Oh, Incident. Oh, these are like things you can that can happen to you while you're playing. All right, so they're more story-driven cards. Don't want to go through those, so don't want to ruin anything. So let's focus on components. All right. Okay, man. Now these are pretty. I always like sparkly things. Look at that. Those are the sparkliest of sparkly things. I like those. Oh, they feel nice. They're like lightweight. They're plastic, obviously. But uh, those feel nice. They, um, I don't know if you make them out. They look like little, they're too small for me to hold. They look like little diamonds. Or rubies, I guess. Okay, let's put these away. And we got this one lonely dice. It's all by itself, does it? I swear, did they give out demo dice of these? Because I swear I just found one of these upstairs that look exactly like this. Anyways, does it work? It does? It does. It does. Look, roll the six. All right. So we got these plastic bases. You get the idea, except these, unlike mo most bases that we get in like a Simon game, are, um, they're hexagons, or octagons. They're, uh, 
How many sides are in this? Okay, there's six. So hexagon, octagon, pentagon, hexagon. I swear, I had like a, a brain spasm there. I don't know what the hell happened. My brain just like short-circuited. Hexagons. <laughs> These are hexagons over the circular versions. So I'm assuming there's for your ships, because I think you control little ship minis, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we'll just put those cipher down. Ooh, and we got a whole bunch of dice. Got to test all of these. So, actually, we'll just save that for the end here. Let's see how, look at these sparkly ones. These look just like the red ones, except they're purple. Well, that's a nice purple, though. Oh, those are really nice. I like those. Seem, I, f I feel like royalty holding these in my hand. It's very, very royal color. What do we got here? Is it extra something or no? It can't be extra. I mean, it's got to be the main of whatever it is because there was no other versions of this. So that's what the back of these look like, whatever they are. And these are okay. I would have if I had to guess. Avatar of the Under God. That oh, these all say Avatar of the Under God. God. These are something to do with monsters you fight. So. Aside, you know what we had here, which uh, I'll explain in a second. So we've had some crazy weather. All oh, these are like reference cards. Yeah, quick reference. Okay. Spoils. Negative traits. Okay. Positive traits. Okay. All right. Um, just talking about crazy weather. Um, it was it was a snowstorm here. It's been snowstorming here for like the last two, three days. But yesterday was interesting. It was a lot of snow, like a crazy amount of snow, and it was thunder and lightning. Now, I've never seen thunder and lightning during a snowstorm. And um, <laughs> Brittany Googled it, and she was people online being being like, have you ever heard of a, uh, have you ever heard of snow thunder or thunder snow before? Snow thunder or thunder snow? One of those. Have you ever heard of thunder snow before? Like, no. Neither has most people because they brought it up in the news explaining what it was. If it was common, it's not like every time there's a rainstorm, they explain what thunder and lightning is. No. So it's clearly it's an uncommon occurrence, especially since everybody's Googling what the hell thunder snow is. Uh, I've never seen it. It did seem a little bit like uh, Sign of the Apocalypse or Bad Days to Come. So it was really strange and um, ominous. So anyways, we got dice here. Let's see what these dice look like. Because I don't ever recall, I've lived in this country my whole life, Canada, and uh, I don't ever recall something seeing thunder snow. All right, I don't know what these symbols mean. I'm sure that's an attack. Don't know what that is, but it look like a tentacle. Let's see. But they're all the same. Do they roll? They're nice. They have a nice little brown thing to them. Okay, they work. They work. They work. I think because I don't understand what these mean. But they do land face up. That's cool. Like etching, it feels very um, like wood with gold engraving. Like it's got a good feeling for that. Let's see. Maybe we'll get a little closer. See, I I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this is actually a new uh, phone. I just picked up a new phone, and it's got a new camera. It's the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and it's got three stages of zoom, where the other one only had like two, as in two the default instead of the you know like when you just push the buttons. These look nice. Oh, I like those. I like the colors on those. What kinds of crazy symbols on them? But do they roll? They do. They do. Huzzah. Okay. I just... So, this knife is sharper. I just stab myself in the arm with it. Um, ah, okay. All right. Let's check out this last few die. Now, we're going to do something crazy here. We're going to test if all of these will work at the same time. Here we go. Bah! Oh, they do work. Even mixed up, they work. That's crazy. That's some high-tech dicing, die crafting. Okay, let's see what we got here. So that seems like a common symbol. It looks like a, I'm getting a tentacle vibe from that. 
don't know what I'm looking at here. Yeah, see, either fire or a tentacle. That looks um, demonic, whatever that is. Okay. Let's put the dice away. And I think all we got now is minis and then these little boxes. Let's do this. I liked when the I like when the lids aren't taped in. It's just easier to take them out. Okay. First, let's look at some monsters. What do we got here? Oh, aren't you precious? It's like a what is this? Like a worm? It's like an eel. Definitely a sea monster. He looks cool. All right, neat. Put him back. There's three of those. There's four of these guys. Oh, those guys are the. I remember seeing them in the painting. They're blue. These guys look like they've been underwater for a bit. Like they're bloated. Um, they've got some stuff growing on them. They look just overall gross. They're gross. So there's an anchor. So they're chilling at the bottom of the ocean. Like covering those. The holes on their body are just like it's just gross. And his face. He's got this like. Swamp thing-esque thing going on his face. Whoa, this, that zoom level is wigging me out, man. Okay. I wonder how, how focus, how close I can get this camera. I'm not used to this camera yet. Okay. And now, what is this? Oh, he's got a face like, um, uh, what was the guy in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean with the squid face? I forgot his name. I haven't seen that movie in so long. It's like oh, Davy Jones. Is it J Davy Jones? Like Davy Jones' locker? I think it was Davy Jones. He looks cool. And now we got. I'm guessing by the color of these pieces that these are our specialty shipmates. Crew members, sorry if I'm sniffling. I think I'm getting sick and I blame Xavier. Technically I don't blame Xavier, I blame daycare. Oh look, she's got a mask on. It's very appropriate. For some reason I don't feel like I can get as close to these guys with this camera, it's like blurs in. All right, there you go. I think it's something to focus on. Yeah, she's got a COVID mask on. And I'm pretty sure this game was put together, I think it was before lockdown, so. Like they're, it's like a, a Simpsons thing where they're seeing the future. This guy looks pretty cool. He's like a, a carpenter of some sort. He's got a lot of tools. Or like, oh, he's a doctor? Because those are needles. I thought a carpenter because the sword, but now I see the needles. I'm thinking he's the surgeon. Oh, I take back what I said. I want a surgeon on my boat. No, thank you. Take your saw. I'm out. Here, this guy. Oops. He's got a little birdie on him. I'm having a hard time keeping these guys in focus with my hand in the back. I feel like this version of the camera tries to focus, tries to autofocus a lot more than the last one I had. And this, whatever this guy is, he must be a generic because there's four of them. He must be a generic crew member. I really like the detail, like the the fact that they're on these wooden planks, which looks like they're on the um, on the boat, on the deck of the boat, the ship, deck of the ship. And for those of you new to the channel, forgive my hands. I'm back on, on a medication to get this better, but this is from handling a lot of cardboard, which happens when you work with board games. A lot of cardboard, a lot of paper. Doesn't happen to everyone, just us lucky few. Oh, oh, it's like a rope, like he's pulling on a rope. That's cool. 
I like that. Like he's like just heaving on it. Oh, I like that. That was that's neat. There's four of him. So he must be generic. Not this guy. This guy has got looks like a telescope. So I'm guessing he's like a cartographer cartographer. Or the lookout. Sorry if my fingers are covering him. I wonder if I could put something in the back here to lock focus. Let's put this guy back here. Hey, I think this might help. Something so I don't have to keep my hand back there. Make, make myself a little stage here. Hey, well, that helps. Helps keep them in focus a little more. Maybe I should do this more often. New tricks with this new camera. What's her deal? She has a cigar in her hand? She has thick gloves. Hmm. We got a monster stuck in there. He's hidden amongst the uh, people. Oh, it looks like his, his insides are like pouring outside. That's gross and cool. His uh, whole explodey head thing gives me a very Last of Us vibe. Which I haven't seen the show yet. I've played through the first video game. Not the prequel or the second one. But I loved the first one. Hands down one of my favorite video games of all time. Great story. Emotional. Impactful. And now, but we're not here to talk about Last of Us. We're here to talk about this guy who's generic, water, paling. I don't know if he's putting out a fire or just like cleaning the deck. And too close. Hey. Like swabbing the deck, is that what you do? Do you swab it? I just thought swabbing was like mopping. Anyways, he's throwing some water. So it's a deckhand of some sort. There's four of them. Now, what else we got? Oh, these are cool. Look at that. Those are awesome looking. Those are the uh, bad guy ships, I believe. I uh, like you can see the tentacles in the water. That's really cool. Yeah, these definitely don't look like good guy ships. When they got holes in them, they look like ghost ships. They're always bad guy ships. Really nice mini though. I like that. And there are a few of those. So there's four of those and four of these, which I only assume are the good guy ships because they're they're of the good guy color. Right. I'll zoom out so you can see them the whole thing. Right now I'm just staying close for a bit. I like the detail of the cannons, and I don't see any tentacles in their water. But the detail of his little cannons sticking out, the waves. Like, it's good motion. It's not just like a static ship sitting in water. It's cool that they went to the effort of making all these waves and looks like it's in some turmoil. Like, this is a ship that's out on an adventure. I think they did a really good job with these minis. That's beautiful. I love that. That's got to be my uh, thumbnail. All right, and then last but not least, the big boy himself. Look at that, he's big, he's almost the size of my face. I think we have to zoom out for this guy, oh yeah. Well, since I can't, I need to make some room. Even these pads are getting away. I don't know how to get, oh, I need to move this camera. Yeah, look at this beast, it's beautiful. Alright, let's zoom out again, sorry. I don't know what the right best zoom of It's hard to make out what the hell's going on here. This guy's big. He's all tentacly. I like fighting a big grotesque Oh, okay, that, that was his back. That's why I couldn't make out what was going on. That's his back. This is his front. Because he looks like he's going in for hugs. What a beautiful face. 
Look at that. You're beautiful. Actually, maybe I don't have to zoom in anymore. This lens adapts pretty well, putting things close. And it looks like he's big. Is that a ship over there? It looks like it took something out. Oh, I think it is. I think it's a capsized boat. Okay, so this thing's big. All right. Okay. Okay. It's got some stuff going on on his back. That's cool. All right, so that was everything from the main box. Now, we've got these neoprene mats, which I'll show you here. Let me see if I can set this up. So these replace these. Oh, there you go. I was saying that I'd like to have the, you know, the big mats that uh, Mosaic had, but I actually like these better. Because uh, they're not oversized, they're the same size, so they might work. <laughs> and they get all the card holders. And nice little neoprene mats. I'll use these before I use the regular cardboard ones. Okay, that's cool. Because recently I've been on a rant about neoprene and how... I don't want to buy it anymore. I'm not going to back any more neoprene because I've, I've been disappointed. Oh, hey, look! the neoprene version of the board, which I wouldn't have to use normally, but now, okay, so this is the neoprene version of the board. The corner is a little dinged up, but you know, I can, so I can force that back. At least this one isn't ripped, so I like that. Um, yeah, because that tear really upset me. <laughs> this looks okay. Uh, now, as far as I remember, there's a numbered track on both sides. I think it's like one of these tracks is for the bad guys and one tracks for you. And as the, uh, I think the bad guys get too ahead of you, they get bonuses. So you have to be kind of focused on the task at hand and not get too sidetracked by like going to port and doing whatever sailors do at port. I don't know. Play Uno. What do I know? I'm not a sailor. Um, never been to port. Okay. So we got three of these boxes. Let's crack these open. Let's check out what's inside, which I can see because there's just big windows, but I'm actually trying to like kind of cross my eyes and blur my vision, so no spoilers. No spoilers. I don't want to know until I actually have it in my hands. I don't know how it is from your perspective, but I feel like this unboxing is going pretty quick for me. All right, so we got some new characters. We got a cook. Hey, my vision's clearing up. And we got another cook. What's the difference between these cooks? Oh, they have different stats, if that's what those numbers mean. I'm assuming that's the cost to hire them on your crew. They, As I said, they pop out of these things really easy. So these guys come with additional dice. That one works. I gotta test them all. I gotta test them all. I think these will look like the other dice we've seen. And they work. They work. Excellent. Excellent. And you know, some of you might laugh, but I actually... What, I can't remember what game it was. It might have been a tiny epic game. Didn't, the dice didn't work. The die did not work. <laughs> it was like... It wasn't a perfect cube. It was like... It was a wooden die that was shaved awkwardly and it landed awkwardly. I think. I can't remember what game it was. So it's possible. All right, so I'm not going to open these because these are story cards, so I don't want to ruin that for anybody. Again, really, anybody who ruins it, ruins it for themselves. You just don't have to read it. I can't read that fast. Because you got a photographic memory. Oh, she's cool. Oh, yeah, I can get pretty close to these guys. I've been zooming in like a sucker. She's cool. She's got like a tentacle. She's a badass cook. It looks like she's eating the thing we're fighting. Or she's prepping food for us to eat as her crew. I like her. That's awesome. I love that she's got the tentacle on her shoulder. What do you got? Yeah, yeah, you're big and burly, but where's your tentacle? Never mind. Never mind. That sounds dirty. Take that back. <laughs> I don't want to see your tentacle. All right, next. Put that aside. We'll put those away later. That's just it for now. I would love to read the rulebook for this today. I would. 
but I can't. I gotta go help install drywall. I know what you're thinking. That sounds like a lot of fun. It is. It's not. I'm not a manual labor person. I get that from my father. Alright, okay, cool. like the art on these guys. Again, I'm not going to show you the story cards that come in there. But these, this has a lot more minis in it. This one has monsters. So, it's quite the story we got going on here. Oh, these guys look awesome! They're like, are they like, they got like crab arms? Because they got the little spikies. Like, it looks crabby. Oh, they look awesome. I really like these guys. Great character design on those. And this has got to be a bad guy because of his color. But he's more humanoid than most. Uh, he looks magic wieldy due to his staff. Which looks like... Ah, I forgot what her name. What's the girl from Runaways? Um, which reminds me. Runaways, the first, the original story for Runaways, the comic book. Excellent. Uh, there's a few, few, few good ones, a few duds later. Like, but the first run, amazing. Um, the show, I couldn't get through it. It wasn't the worst Marvel show I've seen. Inhumans might be the worst one. Um, but, um, yeah, the show was, I just couldn't get through it. But I can't remember her name. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, she looks cool. I really like that. Great job on the minis, guys, if you're watching this. I like her. Or him? I went with her, but maybe it's him. It's hard to tell. The bun, I went automatically to her, but whatever. Whoever this is, can't make it out from the build, because they got, they've got so much stuff on them. Looks great. Oh, this guy looks cool. Those shoulder pads are badass. If I had those shoulder pads today, I would wear them installing drywall. How cool would I look? Helmet and all. Or hat. Whatever. That looks awesome. I like that one. I like that pack better than the cook pack. Although, the girl holding the tentacle. That was a highlight. That was a highlight of this unboxing for me. Alright. In here. Oh, yeah. I didn't... Sorry, the first one was called Seafarer, but it's the one with the cooks. The last one we saw was called Twilight Flood, and this one is called Undertow of Madness. Unlike Undertow of Chip Theory, which is uh, part of the whole Too Many Bones games series. Undertow, is that the... Is that the, like, the standalone expansion? I can't remember which one is which. Might, might be. Can't get this thing out of here. But we're not here to talk about too many bones. I've had too many bones for years. I'll definitely play this before that. Um, not that I don't like it. It's uh, you, the rule set for too many bones is intense. Okay. So we got some academics and some merchants. And we got Psycho Mary Poppins, I'm going with, because of the umbrella. But only because of the umbrella. I call her Psycho Mary Poppins because she's on the bad guy side with some broken swords at her feet. She's in bad guy colors, so she can't be a good person. Oh, that looks awesome. He looks better than Psycho Mary Poppins. I like the uh, him holding up the lantern. Some good character poses. These are some decent quality minis. Like, painted, these would look awesome. This seems to be like the Umbrella box. I prefer this guy's use of the Umbrella. This thing's distracting me. Gotta get this in here. The detail on his backpack is amazing. I 
Looks great. I love that guy. Or girl. Girl? Love that girl. Guy? I don't know. The dress tells me girl. The face tells me... I don't know. Okay. All right. She must be an academic because she's reading a book. And she got giant hair. That's the signs of an academic and not a merchant. Assuming the guy with the umbrella and all the bags was a merchant. She looks cool. I like her. I like her hair. And this guy's got an umbrella. It's, it's the umbrella episode. What is Undertow of Madness? So that's what this is. So, yeah, he must be an academic. Because he's got a uh, magnifying glass and he's checking out the skull that he's holding in his hand. Which is a thing all academics do. Okay. And merchants carry a lot of backpacks and stuff under their coats. Gotta get in one of those coats. You know where you hold a bunch of stuff underneath? How does that work toward, like, if you're on a plane? Does that count as your carry-on? Is that just part of your coat? Because, like, you don't carry things in your pocket. You don't count things in your pocket as part of your carry-on. So what's the deal? Again, there's cards there. Oh, hold on. Those are these little cards. Do they have those in the other ones? They didn't have them with the cook one. Oh, they did have them. With the... I'm making a mess. With the Twilight Flood. So let's go back. back to, actually, no, let's finish this box. Then we'll backtrack to Twilight Flood one. You didn't notice those were in there. Because, yeah, my cook one... I hope they didn't have to have it, because... These guys don't have cards, so hoping they're not supposed to have them. We'll have to go through some contents. Table of contents, Delio. Oh, that's the... Okay, all right. When when she's painted, she's like a crazy Nazi with a sword umbrella. Yeah, that wasn't clear in the mini. So now she's an issue. Oh, I think because... Only the bad guys get the cards, and there's no bad guys in that box. That's why. It makes sense. All right, so it goes back there. Ooh. And I think after this, <laughs> we're going to find out what's in the brown mystery box. I have no idea, but the more I look at this, the more I think that has, has nothing to do with the game. And I'm going to tell you right now, if it's inappropriate, we're, we're just going to cut it out. Okay. All right. So that was it for Ever Rain, unless that box is Ever Rain related, which it might be. Let's check it out. I made a mess on this table. There's so much stuff on here. I this box is pretty big. I don't even need to fit it all on camera. So we're just gonna tear it open and see what's in here. And uh, be careful, cause it's something puffy in here. Now I would have guessed originally it was like a neoprene mat or something, but we've seen the neoprene mat. So and it's not that big. So I have no idea what's in here. It could be a completely different Kickstarter. Or not a Kickstarter at all. I'm so interested to see what's in here. We've never done this before. We've never opened something that I had no idea what was in it. Well, we kind of have, but not like this. What is this? <laughs> this box is huge. And it's mostly this. And that's some neoprene mats. They are neoprene mats. And a letter from Quartermaster Logistics. All right. So, wow, that box was excessively large for what was in here. What am I even looking at? I've got. What am I looking at? This is... Did I double buy neoprene mats? I think I did. These are the same ships, right? Yeah, the Pariah... Oh, I, 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 I bought... 
extra neoprene mats for some reason. Damn, I gotta really pay attention to when I go to the add-on section. And this is a, this must be another player board. Unless it was like a, I, don't, I doubt it was a reprint thing and they're just sitting here new ones. I, I must have reordered it twice. God damn it. I did the same thing with uh, Sleeping Gods. They have this little battle thing and I bought an extra one because I thought it was like a one per player thing because I didn't know what it was for. I didn't realize that it was shared between the group, so damn it. And then what we got in here? Oh, okay. Here we actually have stuff. But do you see the box that this little box came in? Okay, so we got some more. Oh, we got some more extras. Okay, and these I did not miss extra buy, as in by accident. These aren't doubles. These are individual unique things. Okay, so we're not done. We are not done. The fun has just re-begun. All right, camera down, let's do this. So far in this video, we've learned that I've uh, wrecked the poorly made, if you ask me, cardboard board, and I've uh, I bought two neoprene mats of versions of it for no reason. <sighs> well, one of them had a reason. Let's check out the big one first with L. This package is called. There's not much to see because it's just a big window. Where you can see the character inside. Um. This is called, I can't see right now, The Under God. Uh, look at the way this mini looks better than the one that came in the core box. Some nice cards. He's sitting, like, sitting on a throne. Write that out. He's right there. All right. Keep that aside. Keep it over here. Open it. And he's large. Not a little smaller than the last guy. A little smaller than the last guy. But I like the fact that he's sitting on a throne. He's like the Thanos of the sea. So that most of this is not even monster. Oh, is that? Oh, it is! It's a giant monster head coming out of the water, and he's riding its hat. Or is he controlling it? Oh, he's controlling I believe that, that's what is going on here. I think he's controlling it with these tentacles. It's going, like, into this guy's brain, and he's controlling this giant sea monster. Because you can see his face. And you see how big this guy is because there's that looks like the exact same boat that was uh, used. It's like they used the same 3D model or something when they embedded it in the other monster too. At the base, because it's upside down, and it had a little thing coming through it. It's all right. It's all right. So let's see if we can see this guy all at once. Well, that's what it looks like from the top. Cool, I, don't, I need a better angle on him to see it all. Yeah, see? He's just right on that guy's head. That's neat. And, like, it's gotta be terrifying. Okay. Put him away. I'll box that later. <clears throat> Here's our Abyssal Tides character. We have a mercenary, a quartermaster, and a mercenary and a quartermaster. Now, I know from experience, there's cards underneath that are for the bad guys. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'll go through these fairly quick. Shine was bothering me. I'll go through these fairly quick. Because you can just pause if you're curious, do you want to see this guy's art up close? Come in. Kind of dark, hard to see. Oh my. Sue. That there, that there. And I can see the story cards. I think that's what they are, so we're just going to skip those. 
Look at some monsters. I keep putting this thing over here, but the glare is driving me bananas. I swear I was able to come closer last time, and it worked. But now, I don't get this camera. I don't get it. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. I said I didn't have to zoom in, and it was working fine. And now... Yeah, he's got like crab body, crab meets alien. Sorry, some things are stealing the focus. There you go. Okay, there's three, four of those. And there's two of these crazy snake things that are merging to create one being. All right, and then we got, what do we have here? What's that? Actually, a, a nice outfit. Something Brittany would wear. It's a well-dressed, uh, I don't know if she's, oh, what were the options? It was Merchant and, was it Merchant? Oh, I can't remember what the options were. And the cards are gone. And quartermaster and, oh, Mercenary, not Merchant. So she looks like a mercenary, I'm guessing, based on the sword. And she's checking a watch. I'm having a really hard time focusing on this mini. I don't know why. There you go. It wants to really focus on my hands. She looks cool. And from a distance, this guy looks pretty... Oh, I like this guy. He's got that pilgrim smoking a pipe feel to him. He's got some bags of gold on the floor. You see, he wants to focus on the table in the back. I gotta do my system again. Let's get a box here. Bring the focus to the front. There you go. Much better. I think I gotta build like a little stage for these guys. That's not something I expect to see out at sea. A archer. Is that useful on a boat? So you could shoot people on other boats? Like once you get that close to another boat, aren't you pretty much screwed? I guess, you know, if you're fighting sea monsters though, makes sense, right? All right, so we got one more package to open and that is the Torrent of Rebellion. Torrent of Rebellion. Troublesome table. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we got some, looks like generic marauders, because those guys are the same. And those two guys are the same. And they're all marauders. And then here we have, these guys are a little more different. We got some, a boatswain? I don't know what a boatswain is. An occultist. Well, I know what those are. Oh, that one looks cool. I like that occultist. Oh, as much as you can like an occultist. I like the design of the occultist. It'd be more accurate. Alright, let's go through these quickly. Oops, no. My focus box. Alright, that was quick. And now, the bad guys. So boom. All right, well, this guy looks very marauder-y. Who, who walks around like that? You're clearly looking for trouble.
I like his, like, I'm coming to get you pose. And this guy, there's, there was three of each of those other guys, but there's only one of this guy. And is it just me, or does he... He reminds me of the uh, Dark Elf from uh, Thor. Um, the second Thor. What was that called? Dark something or other? Yeah. Let's see if I bring the stage a little closer. It wants to focus on the bot. It wants to focus on everything but the mini. Come on, camera. It's got to be a focus spot. I think, is this the sweet spot right here? Which is weird, because it's not in front of the camera. It's off to the side of the camera. Okay. This guy looks awesome. I don't even know what's happening here. What is he carrying? See the occultist? That looks re like religious stuff. He looks awesome. No, he's a good guy. So, yeah, I don't know what the hell that was. And then we have... Uh, somebody's got like a Harley Quinn hammer, but it looks like a Huckleberry Finn type of look to this character. So it's like Huckleberry Finn meets Harley Quinn. Okay, well, this guy's got a big old hook. You look cool. Very much like a religious looking figure. Like the big head dress or shoulder piece. Okay, that was cool. That was it. That was all of it. So that was everything that I got for Ever Rain and some extras that I didn't need. All right, so thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing as much as I did. And I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.